This is our Sam's haul. We went in for just ground beef, uh, turkey ground beef, and saw some deals, so I just wanted to get them. There will be another clip with my Trader Joe's and Ralph's haul, but this is Sam's Club. So we got some organic blueberry, organic blueberries, sorry, and some raspberries. We got our Jenny O ground turkey. This is like a staple. Even if I have a meal plan and doesn't include this, I will usually get this. This is a really good deal. Um, I wanted to try these. I've never tried these before. The apple smoked uncured bacon and cheddar. Um, I love just getting like chicken patties or something like that to um, either cut up on my salad for protein or I'll just have them for lunch really quick and easy. I never tried these, but looks really good. We also got these beef, spicy Jamaican style beef patties. My wife really likes these and this is something that she can just throw in the oven herself and cook when it's the weekend when I really don't do that much cooking. Got some everything bagels and they were baked fresh. They smell so good y'all. I'm so tempted to just eat one. I might eat one when we get back. And I also got some uh, muscle milk. My wife uses that or drinks this when she works out every morning. So yeah, our small little Sam's haul. I don't have a receipt because we, um, side note, what I love about Sam's versus Costco. And we, it's, we have memberships to both and it's coming at the end of this month that we're gonna have to pick between the two. And I'm leaning towards Sam's simply because the lines in Sam's as well as Costco can be retarded. Um, but Sam's has an app, so does Costco, but Sam's app has it to where you can scan the barcode on the items and pay that way and walk out. There's no lines. And Costco, to my knowledge, does not have that. So for that alone, I'm leaning towards Sam's Club, but we'll see. But again, this was our haul and stay tuned for the other two stores. So sorry, I forgot to include this 36 box of pirate booties. Um, we like to have this for my wife's lunches I make her. And also just a quick, you know, snaps. You know, we love our chips, but I forgot to include this. Good morning, y'all. I am back with another grocery haul. It is currently 7.20 and I'm here at Ralph's. We're going to do Ralph's first today and then Trader Joe's. If you're new to my channel, my name is April. I am a newly stay-at-home wife, um, trying to survive the suburbs. If you are a returning subscriber, hi YouTube besties. So today I'm out early trying to get everything done before 8.30. We'll see if that happens. <laughs> So that actually went pretty well. I was in and out within 30 minutes. Went a little over budget, but I'll tell you why when I get home. Um, right now I'm going to sit in the parking lot before I take off for Trader Joe's and advertise the latest video that's coming up, which is my meals in a week. So if you haven't watched that, you should go check it out. everything so let's go ahead and jump right in um so this is primarily trader joe's and that's going to be ralph slash croaker so the first thing um i picked up are these trader joe gluten-free fruit bars we are not a gluten-free household tony just happens to love these so i got her six of these um the coconut apple flavor and the apple strawberry also picked her up some organic applesauce we're having lasagna tonight for dinner, so I had to get the noodles. And these are really good, ladies. Um, the no boil oven ready. One extra, I mean, you know, one step you can skip. So that's pretty good. Also got this Trader Joe maple granola cereal. 
it's pretty much granola. Um, that's how we use it anyway. It's really good dry snack. Also picked up some um, Fuchelli. I know I'm not saying that right, but some Fuchelli Trader Joe noodles. Trader Joe's has really good prices on the noodles. Most of them are 99 cents. I've never seen anything over like $2 for their noodles, but that's for beef stroganoff, so my version of beef stroganoff. Then got some tomato basil marinara sauce for the lasagna we're having for dinner. Got some Swiss and Gruyere cheese. Um, I like this more than mozzarella, so this will be going on said lasagna. Then I got, I'm really regretting buying this, um, the uncured apple smoked bacon. Only because it was like $4.99 and look how little that you get. I should have picked this up at Ralph's, but it's really good. I just don't like the price and the value of it. But anyways, um, also got some dry fruit. One of the best things about Trader Joe's is their dry fruit. Me and Tony both like these dry cherries. Um, then I got these dry mango slices. Tony's absolute fave. Um... I think if I was Trader Joe's and didn't get these, she would low-key divorce me. And then I got some half and half. Gonna have breakfast for lunch, and I use half and half for my French toast instead of milk. Um, these are new to me. Trader Joe's cashew, apricot, date, and nut bites with coconut. So I like everything in here. Plus, sometimes I have a bit of a sweet tooth, so this should, you know, crave it. Just a little nugget, nothing too big. Only... 120 calories, so pretty good. And look at those clean ingredients. That's why I love Trader Joe's. Okay, also got these sweet bell peppers. I like to roast these, and I also like to um, cut them up and have it on my salad. Got these Trader Joe's diced onions. Makes my life super easy. These are only $1.99, and this will last. Got myself some salad. I'm gonna have that with the uh, lasagna tonight. Got my regular cage-free large, um, gosh, I cannot think this morning, eggs. Sorry, guys. Got a good big old green bell pepper. My favorite string beans besides my mama's. Um, I pair these with everything. I might have these tonight, matter of fact. We'll see. And then I got my avocados, which I eat on everything. Burgers, salads, sandwich, rice. I eat avocados on everything. Um, my favorite roasted potatoes with peppers. This is a really good side. Sometimes we have this with breakfast. Sometimes I have this on the side with the meat. This is just really good to always have in the freezer. And some tater tots, because who doesn't love tater tots? So that's everything I got from Trader Joe's. So moving on to Ralph's, I got some Philadelphia cream cheese to go with those bagels I got from Sam's Club. We were out of butter. This is not my favorite, but it'll have to do just because I was on a budget. Got my wife some non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Um, five of those. She likes to have those in the morning. Got my chip fix, y'all. They was having a sale three of these for five dollars so i got the sour cream and onion and then two barbecue i got cream and mushroom soup for my beef stroganoff are my version because it's not traditional also got beef broth to go with that recipe um got the staple in our house for tony the peanut butter ritz bites crackers i only got two boxes but Tony is flying out, not this week, but next week. So it'll be one for this week and one when she gets back. Got some white bread. I'm going to have French toast for that uh, breakfast for dinner. Got my struggle food, which are the cheap little pizzas and the uh, burritos I always get. Got the plastic silverware because I am not trying to do dishes this summer. So as long as I can get away with it, I'm going to keep doing it. So this is where the budget was blown, y'all. So Ralph's has been having really good sales on meat. Although it's a sale, I did go over budget, but in the long run, we're saving money. So it was buy one, get one free on all the pork ribs, as well as the bone in and bone out pork chops. So I got two things of the pork chops. 
we'll have this for dinner one week, one of the packages. And then I also got two things of ribs and the ribs were like $25, but hey, buy one, get one free, you can't pass that up. So this is where the budget was blown, but it'll last us a good while. Also needed some makeup wipes. I bought some from Sam's Club and for the life of me, I cannot find them, which is irritating me, but you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna try these. I've never tried this particular um, brand, but I do love this moisturizer as well as this lotion. So pretty sure I'll be happy with it. Y'all know I love my Glade candles. And then I got my Miss Myers. Also, I normally get my Miss Myers products from Amazon. I'm gonna try to go ahead and get a membership with Grove Collaborative. Um, that seems to be really cool. and. Their new members get free stuff, so I'm going to sign up for that next month, but I'm going to go ahead and try this. I've never tried this scent. My favorite is Honeysuckle, but we'll give this a go. I usually love her products, but anyway, y'all, this is the haul. Stay tuned for the receipts as well as my weekly meal plan. Okay, so at Trader Joe's, it looks like I spent $64.13, which is right on budget. Um, that's what I budget usually for Trader Joe's, around $65. Ralph, on the other hand, chow, $81.73. But like I said, mostly it was because of that meat. I usually try to budget myself around $60, but like I said, this is a lot of meat for two people. <laughs> So we're pretty good on meat, plus I got that ground turkey from Sam's Club. So this is good for like, I wanna say at least a month. This is, especially with Tony traveling so much, we're good on meat for a, a little bit. Hey y'all, I'm so sorry, it's a day later and I was up here in bed working on uh, my planner and I was like, oh, forgot to show them the meal plan for the week. So um, I got a couple of questions the last time I showed my planner, this is, the Faith Happy Planner. This is my first year using a Happy Planner and I love it because you get to take out pages and move them and there's no fuss and no muss and I'm loving it. Maybe I'll do some planner related videos pretty soon. But anyway, here's the meal plan. Um, yesterday, Monday, uh, Tony had yogurt and fruit. That's normally what she has. Um, I don't think I had breakfast. Yeah, I didn't have breakfast. Wow. Um... For lunch, I had frozen pizza. Uh, Tony had leftovers. Last night, I baked lasagna, had a side salad, peas for Tony, because y'all know she don't like vegetables, and garlic bread. Today was a repeat, um, basically for breakfast. Oh, this morning I did have um, a bagel. Those everything bagels from Sam's Club, y'all, were A1 bomb. And I also had two fried eggs. Um, I'll be having salad for lunch. And we're going to have a leftover of the lasagna. Wednesday, we usually eat the same thing for breakfast. Um, lunch, I'll probably have a frozen pizza or a frozen, you know, something in the freezer. And I'm going to bake my oven roasted, our oven baked pork chops, some potatoes, stream beans, peas for Tony. Uh, Thursday same breakfast um i might have a sandwich sandwich or salad because i might be kind of sick of salad and i have leftovers of the night before for dinner y'all know i like to eat my leftovers right after i don't like the whole you know we'll do it on thursday friday or saturday i just feel like you know i'm kind of weird like that if i don't eat it right after i don't think the food is good but that's just me um, Friday night, we will be having the same breakfast. Um, last day of salad. I usually like to finish off the salad that week because the lettuce won't get wilted and go bad and I don't waste money. So, most likely we'll have a salad. And for dinner, we're going to have beef stroganoff. Saturday, we will be traveling to Long Beach for a, the Long Beach Beer Fest. So, yeah, I don't know what we'll be having for breakfast or lunch. We'll probably have lunch there at the festival and dinner, I might pack some leftovers depending on whether or not our room has um, a kitchenette or microwave. Um, so that's Saturday's kind of up in the air because we won't be at home. Sunday, we'll probably have finish off the fruit that's in the refrigerator so that won't go bad. Um, lunch, free for all, go for around the house. And dinner, we'll probably 
probably be a big breakfast for dinner. And then uh, Tony flies out on Monday yet again. But yeah, this is my meal plan for the week.